Hi everybody, so I'm back with another haul. I just got done filming my Dollar Tree haul from today and I just want to share with you some things from the other places that I went. I have a Ross haul Tuesday morning and Target Dollar Spot. So first I'll show you the Ross things. Um, I picked up one shirt. It was $8.99, but I couldn't resist because yes, life definitely begins after coffee. So anyway, this is just a short sleeve shirt, super soft. And um, yeah, my daughter found it and I had to have it. So that was my splurge for the day. I needed some conditioner and I actually found a Redken Real Control Conditioner. It has the retail sticker on there for $14 and I picked it up for eight. So that's a really good deal on salon conditioner. That is what I love about those stores. <sighs> One of the best things that I love. Um, I also picked up this um, False Craft. Is that how you say it? False, False Graph coffee mug. Happy holidays. Holidays. I just thought it was cute. It says that compared to $7 and I picked it up for 3 so anyway, it's just a really nice full-size coffee mug, and um, yeah, that'll be my Christmas coffee mug. And I also picked up a box of teas. I really like these for pocket letters because they have the little um, sled prints, and they're a Christmas, yeah, holiday set. So you get six different flavors, and they're pretty interesting. It's mostly like white tea chai and then different herbs mixed in with it so i'm excited to try this and to put it in my christmas packet letters so that's everything i picked up from ross so next i'll share target dollar spot i was hoping to find christmas things i didn't find everything that i had hoped but um i like what i did find so i picked up these page flags which i thought were adorable I really liked this notepad. It says Merry Christmas. Oh, what fun. I thought that was just really a classy, elegant print. I like that it's that gold foil look on there. So that's one of my favorites. Then I picked up this package of post-its with the snowman and the polka dots. And I also picked up this pack of post-its. I love the plaid sweater look. And really, this is black, red, and white. Like, you can use this all winter. I don't think it specifically looks only like Christmas, so I liked those. This was the very last Christmas sticker book um, that I had in my Target dollar spot. So I was so excited to be able to get it. Um, here are the adorable animals and mine has like this ink line through it, but oh well. They're just really cute. And then you get, um, circles. I'm wondering if those will fit in bottle caps or not. I'm not sure, but it might be worth a try. Then you get stars and alphabets and numbers. So, and more stars with smiley faces. To me, that's random when you just want the animals. But anyway, those are cute. I was happy to get the last one. I also picked up a pack of these little snow globe penguin dudes. I like that they have glitter in them. They're nice, good size, spongy plastic. And then I picked up these adorable guys. They're just so cute. I actually picked up two of those because they were my faves. So that is everything from Target. 
hopefully they'll be getting some more things in because there are some things I've seen you guys haul that I would really like to get my hands on. Not that I need to, but okay, Tuesday morning. My Tuesday morning puts out their craft items on Wednesdays, so it was a good day for me to go. And these are the things I picked out. First of all, I picked up this date stamp. Yeah. Um, it has a little message that you can scroll through and then you can date it. It was for sale there for $3, but it was 60% off. So I got it for just over a dollar. So that's a great buy and I was excited to pick this up. I picked up a pack of paper. This was $2.99 and how many sheets do you get? 25 I think. No, there's more than 25. I don't know. It doesn't say. But I thought that was so pretty. Isn't that like the prettiest blue flower print you've ever seen? Yes. And then it has this pretty brown and white stripe on the back. So those are gorgeous. I picked up a pack of these Christmas paper straws for $1.99. I have seen people do really cute little crafts with these straws, so I might give it a try. And then, for another craft, I needed some of these metallic markers, and they just happened to have some. And they were $3.99. That's not something that I really like to spend that much on, but I had to bite the bullet because I need a gold one in particular and then you get all these other colors so it was worth it and I'll play around with them then something I was excited to find all these little stencils they were 49 cents a piece and they're reusable plastic stencils so this one says happy this one says love you This one says crazy blessed, and yes I am. This one says thankful. This one says joy. This one says love, smile, XOXO, hello, life, today, and then I see that I accidentally picked up another XOXO. So <laughs> this I will probably stick in a pile for a future giveaway and just go in the pile. But anyway, I thought those were super cute. You can trace them and fill them in. You can paint around them and spray the color so it makes like a stenciled, you know, look. My very most favorite find is that they had some more washi tape back in. So this was all 99 cents, which is a little annoying since some of it is so thin. Like this. This super thin, which is cute, was the exact same price as this. So that's annoying, but I still bought it, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, this one says it's bamboo. So it's just this little checkered print. Of course I'm shaking. I just had a cup of coffee. <sighs> okay. And then this one is just called red foil gingham. I thought that was pretty. And then this one is called brick. And it's like a yellow with a black line through it. No, it's not going to focus. Let's try and get a little closer. This one is Paris. See? It has little stuff going on. That was cute. Then this one is like black with some white stitching. This one, cute little hearts. That was nice. And then this pink measuring tape. But that was cute. And there's also a blue measuring tape. And two more. This one has, I think it's New York. Yep. 
New York, and then it has a little Empire State Building. So that's fun. And then one more little pattern, and it's called Rope. And it does have like a little rope pattern on there. Determined. I'm determined that it's going to show up. And it just won't. So anyway, that's everything I got at Tuesday morning. They had a lot of other cute things. If you guys have a Tuesday morning in your area and you have not visited yet, you have to go check them out. They are just really just great for craft supplies. They have a lot of nice house items too. I still don't like... I don't know. They they seem expensive to me, but I guess they're brands that would be more expensive anyway. But as far as the craft items go, they have great things come through there. So it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, same thing with Ross. If you guys haven't been in Ross or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, definitely give them a try because you just never find, you never know what you're going to find. And it's great and it's fun and it's like, treasure hunting. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you next time.